Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on this Campus Life Monday, February 6, 2023. It is 1.29 p.m. Eastern Time as I speak and record. Guys, thank you so much for joining me daily as we get our daily bread out of our daily bread. The name of this devotional anyway, guys, and he walks with me 365 reminders. Guys, that's probably not even a tenth, a tenth of the reminders. It's in the word of God how much Jesus loves us. Amen. Hey guys, thank you for joining me as we do today's title, Walking in the Light, Walking in the Light. This reminds me of so many songs right there, guys, and a lot of scripture too. And speaking of, our study scriptures today is Hebrews chapter 12, verses 18 through 24. Feel free to eat some more while you're in there, a little before, a little after, guys. I do it all the time just to make it all tie in, help, just help to understand it and comprehend it more. Plus, the more word you get in you. That's more, that's more Holy Spirit medicine, guys. And our lead off verse is uh, uh, one of my favorite chapters. Uh, it's John chapter one, verse four. And the word of God says, in him was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. Thank you, Jesus. And Lawrence Darmani, as our author today, writes this. Darkness descended on our forest village when the moon disappeared. Lightning slashed the skies, followed by a rainstorm and crackling thunder. Awake and afraid, as a child, I imagined all kinds of grisly monsters about to pounce on me. By daybreak, however, the sounds vanished, the sun rose, and calm returned as birds jubilated in the sunshine. This is the joys that the light brings, folks. Uh, the contrast between the frightening darkness of the night and the joy of the daylight was remarkably sharp. The author of Hebrews recalls a time when the Israelites had an experience at Mount Sinai so dark and stormy, they hid in fear. Guys, and that's in Exodus chapter 20, verses 18 and 19. For them, God's presence, even in his loving gift of the law, felt dark and terrifying. This was because, as sinful people, the Israelites could not live up to God's standards. They were getting a complete dose of Holy Spirit conviction. Um, their sins caused them to walk in darkness and fear. And that's in our studies, guys. But God is light. In him, there's no darkness at all. That's 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. In Hebrews 12, Mount Sinai represents God's holiness and our old life of disobedience. While the beauty of Mount Zion represents God's grace and believers, new life in Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant. Whoever follows Jesus will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. It's John 8, chapter, or John chapter 8, verse 12. Through him, we can let go of the darkness of our old life and celebrate the joy of walking in the light and beauty of his kingdom. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And our quote for today, actually, actually, guys, this is uh, our quote for today is two questions. So this might be our little homework to get along with the Lord and answer these. Um, if you're a believer in Jesus, how has your life changed since he came into it? Guys, I could go on for about four hours on that one. And second question, what are some ways you'd like to grow in your faith? Think about that, guys. When you start walking in life, when you were born again and gave your life to Jesus and you start walking in the light, when you start walking in the light, how has your life changed? And what are some ways that you'd like to grow in your faith? You know, God, I, I would like to think that all of us, that second one, how we would like to grow in our faith is just being more, being bolder about the word of God, expressing the love of Jesus Christ openly. And not being afraid of what society is going to do with us. If they're going to, we're guys, we're not going to be murdered and persecuted because we mentioned the name of Jesus. Some people are terrified of losing their jobs. Guys, you think if you lose your job for mentioning the name of Jesus, there goes that camera again. I do not know why this camera does that, guys. But anyway, I'm just going to keep recording. Satan, you can keep trying. But anyway, guys, <laughs> you, you can't, you cannot honestly believe that if you mention the name of Jesus and lose your job, that God is not going to provide something even greater. Why? Because his word says he will. That's why. 
Um, so I would think that the ways that I personally would like to grow in my faith is just be more bold about my love of Christ and his love for his love of, for others. Just mention it everywhere I go. Um, you know, it's so easy just to tell somebody Jesus loves you. And that could very well bring that person to Christ, bring them to the light. Guys, just remember, you know, a lot of you, maybe we've, we've all had different backgrounds, different upbringings, different things happen to us in life. But if you look back on it now, we do. Now, trust me, we do not dwell on the past. We learn on it. We learn from the past. And I think when we do that, that just helps us appreciate God's love for us more and, and see what he's brought us through and realize that he never, ever left us. There may have been times that we felt like we were in the dark, but we were not. God was there the whole time. And it's so it's so powerful to understand about dark and light. Guys, me and my brother Dave was talking about this other day. People say, man, look how bright that moon is tonight. The moon does not put off light, guys. The moon is a solid rock planet. It's dark. There's no light on it. The light comes from the sun, and the sun reflects off of that darkness and put brings light down to us. That's how amazing God is. He gave us a nighttime. He gave us a nightlight. He gave us a, the moon as a nightlight. And there's a lot of things in this world that that need that moonlight to live and, and survive and, and to, to keep going. But uh, just to think about that, uh, you could take a you could take a flashlight and cover it up with a black with a black blanket. That flashlight is still light. It's still shining. That the darkness cannot cover that light. It may keep you from seeing it, but guess what? That light is still there. Now switch that around, go into a pitch black room. I mean, completely dark. I mean, towels under the doors, every single electric thing turned off, phone, everything, guys, nothing, no peep of light, nothing. And, and turn that flashlight on, guys. There is nothing the dark can do to that light. That light is done, canceled that darkness. That room is no longer dark. An entire room, one tiny flashlight changed because of the light. And that's what Jesus does to us. He's the light in our life. He changes us from the inside out. What do we do? continue to say it we spend as much time with him every single day glorifying him communing with him fellowshipping with him building that intimate relationship that we gotta have and uh man i just love like i'm gonna read john chapter one here and close out with this even though our, our lead off verse is john one four john chapter one verse one it, it's it's a, such a powerful and favorite i'm just gonna read this guys John 1, chapter, John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, the Word already existed. We know the Word was Jesus Christ. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus is God. Jesus is the Word. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through Him. Think about that, guys. God. God created everything through Jesus Christ. And nothing was created except through Him. Everything, guys. Verse four, the word gave life to everything that was created and his life brought light to everyone. Verse five, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. Just like the flashlight in that dark room, guys. So guys, just take a minute after, th after this, you know, find that time to get along with the Lord, read these verses and meditate on them. Think of a time that you were in that dark and how God brought you through it. Answer these questions. You know, how has your life changed since you've, since you've uh, began walking in the light? And what are some things you'd like to do to grow your faith? Answer those. Answer them with God. Have him search your heart. Have him give you the answers because they're going to be the only right answers if they come from God. Trust me. We could come up with answers all day long, but our ways are not his ways and our thoughts are not his thoughts. So, guys, thank you for joining me. Please go along and meditate on this. Just have God speak to you loudly. So we can just, man, just so we can gain this world back, guys. So until tomorrow, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see what Daddy says then. I love you guys.